Pre-1974, like so many other non-native English-speaking countries, Sweden had been solely an importer of international pop music. But now, with ABBA as the watershed moment, Sweden, a country of less than 10 million people, joined the small list of successful exporters. ABBA's unprecedented success turned them into Swedish role models, and this changed the Swedish psyche. The attitude of, if they can do it, we can do it, swept across a generation. And this saw the expansion of the Socialist Swedish Government's Municipal Schools Programme, allowing children from all economic backgrounds to learn an instrument. This investment, aside from achieving its intended aims of getting kids to do more positive leisure activities, saw commercial returns in the 80s with Europe and Roxette, and in the 90s with Ace of Bass and the Cardigans. But Sweden's biggest success is right now. The Songwriters League table for US number ones reads as follows. Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Max Martin. Who the hell is Max Martin? Max Martin is a songwriter-producer phenomenon whose 22 and counting US number ones include some of the most iconic pop songs. His systematic method of songwriting is known as track and hook. First, a beat maker, in this case Martin, creates an instrumental background track. Second, multiple top liners are invited to submit their melodic hooks of verse, bridge and chorus. Third and lastly, the beat maker selects the best hooks and puts it all together. Martin's songs, characterised by driving beats, euphoric choruses and simple lyrics, became hit after hit and soon other Swedish musicians latched on to Martin's formula, producing Today, Sweden is remarkably, given its size, the third biggest exporter of pop music in the world, with Stockholm described as being to pop what Nashville is to country. And the root cause for what is known as the Swedish music miracle is what has been dubbed the Abba effect. <laughs> <laughs> 